During these weeks around Veterans Day, we want to spotlight those who help veterans who need it, not only around this time of year, but year round. As two news problem solver Pete Knutson found, some Tulsa area veterans say they're proud to offer that helping hand themselves any way they can. You pretty good dog. We found Elmer Floyd relaxing on his front porch with his new best friend by his side, a dog named Sarge. The first time we talked to Elmer, we found out he served in the Marines. We were there to find out more about a $500 water bill he'd received because the city didn't know his water meter hadn't been working for more than a year. Tried to fight with him with it, about it, and didn't do no good. Even though the city broke that big bill into 12 months, Elmer says it still took a big bite out of his fixed income budget, especially since Elmer says he was still paying for thousands of dollars in damage from that big Father's Day windstorm back in the summer. I just manage. I have to do what I got to do. After hearing our story about Elmer, folks came out of the woodwork to help. Ordinary folks who had a little extra to offer including the Tulsa chapter of the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association. We're blessed to be able to help some people in great ways. We had the chance to chat with Rick Anderson, known to his buddies as Sunshine. He heads up that veterans group. As most vets know, there's not a lot out there as far as resources to help us. Um, helping each other is the most effective way. Vets helping vets. Their mission after their military service to raise money to help other veterans in the community and in veteran care facilities. It might be a warm meal or some clothes. Maybe it's a place to stay and some guidance. Or, as in Elmer's case, some cash to get through a rough patch. It's an absolutely amazing feeling, especially since many of us have been in his situation before um, and didn't have somebody to offer that hand up. The problem solvers arranged with the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association a nonprofit group to collect money folks wanted to donate to Elmer. And on a bright sunny autumn weekend, Sunshine and other vets in the group hand delivered a check to Elmer of more than $2,000, enough to take care of his big water bill and those other repairs he needed after that ferocious windstorm. What's it like to know that some folks want to help you out? Folks that you don't know and they don't know you. I would thank you. I would thank you very much. And I appreciate the help. Elmer says he's never been one to ask for a handout. His pride just wouldn't allow it, he tells us. So he's grateful. And his fellow vets say it's simply a thank you and a message to others that veterans are always welcome home. We are honored to be able to be that, uh, that assistance. To support and defend those who've defended our country and our freedom, Sunshine says. Veterans like Elmer, and yes, even his best friend, Sarge. For more information about the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association or to donate to their year-round efforts, go to our website, kjrh.com. Pete Knutson, 2 News, Oklahoma, Problem Solvers. And if we can help you, call our 2 News Problem Solvers line. It's 918-748-1502. You could also send an email to problemsolvers at kjrh.com.